And our number one play of the week. Here's the ninja once again, posterizing Don Aliano's huge frame. I don't know about Roger, the way Roger plays. Behind me, but it's good. Oh, that's a poor shot. Oh, woo! That is vintage Joseph Yo. That's hanging in the air there. Bow <laughs> Arena. Open Tanja Arena. That is set in defiance of laws of gravity. That's your top 10 plays of the week. Watch out for more next week. Okay, and uh, this is going to be fast and quick. Patricia, you've got Tim Cohn. Coach Tim Cohn is right beside me right now. Coach, what are the adjustments that you think is important for you guys here in the second half? Well, I think we, they're, they're really coming out and doing a lot of ball screens, and, and uh, they're, they're playing at a much heavier, quicker tempo, and, and uh, we got to make sure we're staying calm and, and playing the tempo on our side of the floor the way we want and not get too caught up. Um, you know, L.A.'s got to do a better job of uh, keeping us under control and playing the way we want to play. And... Uh, um, but aside from that, you know, I mean, we're leading, so something must be going well. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck for the second half, Seth. Quick and straight to the point. Dr. J and Ronnie McSano, 50 to 45, uh, play a little under control. The second quarter had um, San Miguel coming to life, in fact, Dr. J. Well, I think that uh, when Freeman had to sit down, you know, they had to use other players on the floor, and maybe that's already in their plan to use guys like Pinici and Miranda there. And obviously, they have helped the team. Of course, Freeman is missing. He only has two points. And three rebounds, which is far cry from what they can do here, and that would good well for San Miguel because in the second half you can expect a better performance than him. So definitely, the bench was able to help San Miguel's cost. In fact, they even tasted the lead at 33 31. But eventually, LA Tenorio, Sabiani coach Tim Cole, was able to put in the composure for the aces, and as a result, they'll be heading into the third quarter with a five point margin. Adjustments, uh, Dr. Jane? Well, I don't see much. You know, Alaska should be happy on their part because they had more attempts than San Miguel, even though the percentages were uh, probably the same for both. They had the, and Joe Devance has had a good game with 14. That, uh, Simpson has 11. On the other side, you have two local players leading the parade for San Miguel Beer. Do uh, Ronnie, Dr. Maxano. <laughs> <laughs> Defense has to step up in terms of uh, aggressiveness here for San Miguel. They did that in the early part of the second quarter, but in, here in the third, it's so crucial for them to start out really strong and once again make it hard for LA Tenorio to execute for Alaska. Okay, let's go down to the center of the court and we've got a presentation being made there. And Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for the head coach of the Miami Heat, Eric Spolstra! Superstars waiting to start practice with him, Dr. J. Yeah, obviously a very powerful lineup, but maybe not yet complete. Uh, I still think uh, in, the, in the NBA, if you don't have a good big man, you have a lot of problems uh, center. Well, I called Ronnie Dr. Kanina, um, <laughs> with all due respect to the original doctor of the Pana, because it's the fault of Benji Paras, I'll explain. Because Benji was doing this movie and dragged this guy to make him a doctor. 
It's the funniest doctor I've ever seen <laughs> on, the, on uh, in movies. In the meantime, oh, you're playing. On the 27th. Are you ready? On the 27th. <laughs> Tagilid tayo, Dr. Jay. <laughs> Tagilid tayo rito. Kabuti ng anes. Ay, okay. Nagda-diet na ho si Ronnie. I got a couple of more weeks uh, to prepare. <laughs> si Dr. Jay sana mag-coach sa inyo. Para ganun din ka optimistic. Pwede, pwede, pwede. In the meantime, here's uh, Freeman. He, he's anxious to get going. He does. We can expect San Miguel to establish the inside game of Gabe Freeman. It's going to be a long shot if you have Freeman scoring in single digits. And yeah. expect yourself, uh, your team to win. Single digit, I mean. Aaron Santos had a bit of a heist, and Simpson ended up committing a foul in the effort to retrieve the ball, asking the referee, what did I do, sir? So there was a clean steal already by uh, Arwin Santos, then maybe a little nudge from behind, making him lose that ball. Miranda starting off matchup against L.A. Denorio here. Antiveros, it walked by Benissi, and the Vance tried to track it down, and Magumarjan is safe for now. <laughs> Magu, takilid yun, dalawang malaki yun, hindi point guard yun, lulusom sa'yo yun. 50-47, Seb Sarmenta with the doctor Andy Howe, Ronnie McSanops with us, Patricia Berman this season, of course, and we've got Magu Marjan for game two. Series at one to nothing in favor of the Aces. Shot clock at seven. Simpson will have to make a decision, fires a three, hands it. Ooh, that's big. Walang gustong kumuha ng bola, wala nang option, tira ko Meantime, Arwin out to Freeman. Plenty of time to shot clock. Slips. Now declare a jump. Kaya naman ang hirap pag konti ang minuto mo sa first half. You, send, you tend to lose a sense of timing in your game, especially. And right now, I'm sure Coach, Coach Shot Tankinsen is hoping that Gabe Freeman regains his rhythm. Especially here at the start of the third. Well, are you saying that as if you're trying to make up for lost time Tama. kind of feeling? Tama. Okay. Nangyayari talaga yun. Then, gusto mong kumayod, lalong-lalo na sila baka nung second unit, yung locals kanina, that, they, that were able to get at least San Miguel a taste of the lead. Nare can pick up that ball because both of the, you know, that was the top. You can even go to the back or and pick up that ball. There's Arwin Santos. Stretches neatly. Excellent penetration coming from Arwin Santos. It's that always jumping high. It's finding the gap in the defense. And there he just went under the armpit of Diamond Simpson to score San Miguel's 49 points. This was something that Norman Black told me a long time. I'm looking at Eric Spolstra, and I guess it's the same thing for you, Andy, as well as Ronnie. When you watch a basketball game, he's watching it so intently. He's trying to learn the game. Uh, you never stop learning, you never stop watching and enjoying this game. Yeah, obviously, and he also like, you know, like to look at some of these players here. That's also an incentive for both Freeman and, uh, and Simpson. Oh, especially now, Simpson. Now that you mention it. Especially uh, Simpson. Del Medio Bata pa si Simpson. May pag-asa pa mag-NBA yan. Both of them actually are young. That means that the attempt to put it against him failed and a slam a jamma by Arwin Santos. Still hinahanap nating defensive intensity from San Miguel being the pressure team. And that is exactly what Denok Miranda can give to your squad together, of course, with Nick Benissi. Alaska's choice, Dr. Yes. Yeah, tama si Don. Both of those guys are good defensive players. Oh, physical oh, yes. talaga oh. One point lead by the Aces. Shot clock at four. Devan says, I'll step back. Look short. But it gets a nice bounce, but it won't drop in. And a loose ball fall on Nick, I think. Ito, kitang-kita rito. Hirap na hirap si L.A. Tenorio to secure the basketball for Alaska. And in the type of offense that Coach Team Code, Coach Team Code runs, it's essential for L.A. Tenorio to touch the ball just to be able to set the table correctly for the Aces. Let's see what he does as he touches the ball right now. 9.36 remaining. We're in the third. Pacquiao, three. Alamo. Antiveros is continuously being burned by trying to go under the screen. And in backdoor cuts, he's been trying to go under, and Babius has been beating into the basket or with his open shot. Yes. 
Rondon trying to create, scoops it up. That will not bite. 